Hey again, everybody, and welcome. It's John with People's Republic MTG, aka McNerdy27, and today we've got a quick draft of Khan's Tark here for you. Before we jump into the action, this channel stands with the Black Lives Matter movement, so please do check out the links to funds and charities that support BLM in the YouTube video descriptions, and consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to my channel to one of those worthwhile causes. All right, let's jump in. Let's see where this one takes us. Wild, wild format it is. All right, Altar of the Brood is uh, not a card we are interested in. Dead Drop, decent uncommon. Just Guy Charm, very good uncommon, but three colors. Um, good comments here are Alabaster Kieran and Savage Punch. I don't mind a bit of Rev, plus two duels. Um, I think I'm going to take Just Guy Charm. Pray that we wield this. This would also be fine if we wield it. Um, I do think the Jeskai Charm is strong enough here to take over either land. And I do think it is better than Dead Drop. So, I'm going to take Jeskai Charm. Okay. A land uh, that goes with Jeskai Charm. Love to see that. We've also got a War Name Aspirant as a really very solid red 2 drop. Kintry Invocation is a fun card, but it is the opposite colors of uh, what we're doing so far. There's a Throttle. Um, and a Bring Low. I think I would like to just go ahead and start picking up some lands that go with Jeskai Charm. Uh, as much as I like Warning Aspirant, um, I'm not confident that we're going to be an aggro deck. It goes better in Mardu. and take that. Timely Horde Mate, not a bad uncommon, but you have to end up with a density of man value two or less creatures. There's a Sage Eye Harrier here, and a Mystic of the Hidden Way, which is perfectly serviceable common. Swift Kick I am not interested in. Treasure Cruise is a good card. I don't want to take it this early, though. There's also a Red Green Land. So I think it's probably between like Horde Mate, Mystic of the Hidden Way, and Rugged Highlands for me. I think we're just going to take that Rugged Highlands. I don't, I don't think that we're really going to miss um, Mystic of the Hidden Way. All right, now we got Warden of the Eye. And I, I think that that is good enough, especially with Jeskai Charm in our pile, to take over Swiftwater Cliffs. I do like Force Away, but um, I'm going to take Warden of the Eye. I'm not, like, super into Set Adrift because it is Sorcery Speed. Um, so I'll take Warden of the Eye. Okay, a um, couple of solid two drops here in Leaping Master, Anok Bondkin. Uh, a lot of black. Uh, probably just gonna take. I guess I'll take Anok Bondkin. Okay, here we get in a free Weapon Master with a ton of black cards still in the pack. Um, there's another dead drop. Wow. Okay, take a free Weapon Master. Okay, this is a this is a great pickup here, Tranquil Cove, because we're not interested in Skaldkin. We might play a Canyon Lurkers, but I'll absolutely take that Tranquil Cove there. Get a Windscarred Crag here. I think that's better than taking like Glacial Stalker or Singing Bell Strike. Land base coming together, not too bad. We got Flock versus Canyon Lurkers here. I'm gonna take the more defensive card um, over Canyon Lurkers just because like. I don't know. 5-2 dies to everything. Uh, it's just not not an efficient card or anything, so take the flock. Okay, Aspirin came all the way back. I love that. Um, yeah, we're just going to snap that up. Okay, nothing for us here. Um, we'll put uh, this on common on the side. Anoch Tracker, fine. It's not even good. Um... Exactly, but, you know, it's serviceable. Okay, Care of Dreadmaw comes back. All right, some good good stuff in the pile. Three lands so far. Okay, a lot of strong gold cards in this pack, none of which are really our colors. I don't really love Trap Essence, but Bear's Companion is great. Ob's on Charm is excellent. And Sultai Soothsayer is quite good. Um, we can't take any of those sadly um so it's between like smite the monstrous i don't really want a second free weapon master right now and i don't really want a jeskai student so i'm just gonna take smite the monstrous 
not like that great of a card or anything. Okay, Master of the Way is very good. Two of the green blue plants here and Ice Feather Oven and Secret Plans. It's also a Windscarred Crag and a Kill Shot and a Tormenting Force. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. We have a high mana curve right now. There is a chance you could take this crag this crag and this wheels. But I don't I don't really trust the bots. I'm just gonna take Master of the Way there. Yeah, we're kinda left with a big nun ball here. Um Crippling Chill is fine. It's not great though. We don't have a lot of prowess to back it up right now, so. Okay. This is tough. I mean, like, Aerostorm is really good. Bring Low is quite solid. Mystic of the Hidden Way is playable. We Fate is playable. Aerostorm is really good. Is it better than Bring Low? take care of storm and our curve gets higher <laughs> um okay arc lightning is like it's too good to pass i like dragon's eye savants and i i would play a jeskai student in this deck but just take some more burn Get a ride down here i can't really say no to that okay winter flame pretty good card um we got creature to non-creature we have seven non-creatures already um, like Crippling Chill might end up out of it, but I guess we'll take Winter Flame. Yeah, we don't really like anything here. This is super clunky. I guess Tormenting Voice isn't bad for us, but we need some creatures. All right, here's a Jeskai student. Here's a Weave Fate that I don't think we can really play, given how low our creature count is. Canyon Lurkers, you're in. All right, we got another Weave Fate there. We're not going to play either of these. Take an Uncommon. Stubborn Denial, pretty good card. Only hits non-creatures, though. Crater's Claws. More Burn. Can we interest me in more Burn? Oh, there's Mystic Monastery. Yeah, we're going to take that. Um, we could just use some Morphs at this point. Um... And we don't get any here. Like, there's a singing bell strike and a treasure cruise. I am nervous about our creature count. Do you take Summit Prowler just because? I mean, we've got card draw, so I'm going to take this thing. It's not good. Okay, Kieran's not a bad creature. I don't hate take up arms, but I don't think this deck is going to. Here's a Mardu Horde Chief. You probably just take that, even though you're not. We're not really an aggressive deck. Another Winter Flame, but I think like a Bloodfire Expert or a Le I think I want Leaping Master out of these two. As another two ball. Another Warden of the Eye. I think. Mm, do you take Bloodfire Expert because of the curve? I think shh, pro we probably should. We've got a lot of really good spells though. It's greedy. It's very greedy. Okay, I'd like to see another couple of two drops here. We'll take another A on Bonkin. I don't really like Valley Dasher. But we're absolutely not playing like this or we don't need a singing bell strike at this point. Guess we'll put that in. War Shrieker is an interesting card in this deck. Um I, I, like, I think we take it. It does make two of our colors. We're not going to want the Singing Bell Strike, so I'm just going to take this in common. I, like, I don't think we're going to play Firehoof Cavalry. I'll take it just in case. Take Up Arms came back. So did Wetland Sandbar. What are we not playing out of this? 
Probably crippling chill. Possibly Summit Prowler gets cut. Canyon Lurkers could also get cut. I'll take take up arms. Another free weapon master. I don't know that we can run both. There's another bloodfire expert. And we got a lot of we ended up getting, you know, some pretty decent goods there in the last pack. I mean you know, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> we just really wanted creatures at that point. Um, land base is, uh, you know, decent with four, uh, four non-basics. Um, we're at seventeen ten. I think Valley Dasher goes. Do we still need Smite the Monstrous? Hmm, possibly, yeah. Um, Summit Prowler probably goes. 1510. Four three with first strike's really difficult to deal with. Do we need smite? Do we even want take up arms? Yeah, probably. Fifteen ten. Okay, we we need to uh, like it's fine to cut one. Like we can cut canyon lurkers there. One more creature, but now we must count uh, cut a non creature. Um, so card draw includes tormenting voice, we fate. And quote unquote master the way. It's not really card draw. I mean, I guess it's not crazy to cut another creature here and go to um. Oh, we need a we need another land though, because we're we're at seventeen. So we need to make two cuts here. It's a question of what, how often we're going to be attacking that Marty War Chief is uh, uh, Marty War Shrieker is really going to be that powerful. changes view all right you are a morph you are also a morph not mm -mm, you're not that um uh, that special champ okay Like, looking at the non-creature spells, I just don't see one that I really want to cut. Card draw. Creature kill. Um. Okay, with Ride Down in the deck, do you cut Smite the Monstrous, maybe? Considering the other removal we've got, like Master of the Way, Arrow Storm... Arc Lightning, Jeskai Charm, Winter Flame, quote unquote. Alright, I'm gonna finally cut that smite. 
All right, one more card so that we can go up to 18 lands. Can be a creature here. Cut one of the Weapon Masters, maybe. Just cut the Anoch Tracker. Do I want Monastery Flop? I may not want Monastery Flock now that... Like, we're a slightly more aggressive deck than I assumed we would be. Let's cut Monastery Flock, actually. Okay. Heaviest red. Next white. Then blue. Okay. Sources. Five. Six, seven, eight for red. Seven for white. Seven for blue. One more plains. One more mountain. I'm going to go with one more plains. Okay. Don't mind it. All right, uh, digital deck box art. Let's talk about this. Let's uh, let's uh, consider our options. I mean, Jessica Charm is a pretty good one to include. Master of the Way has also got kind of cool art. Jessica Charm it is. All right. Actually, what does Winter Flame look like up there? Ooh, that's pretty. We'll do that. Okay. On we go. I don't think I want to cast Tormenting Voice there. Ooh, spooky. I think I'll take this trade if they want to. We gotta kind of hope they tap out here. That way we can deal with Seeker next turn. Preferably with Winter Flame. Check out Banner. They've now got two mana up, so I'm not blocking that. I'm gonna try to winter flame at end of turn. Um just got banner. Okay. Trigger on the stack, huh? Skill two. Okay, good. Three mana. Locking the one one. 
Yeah, let's just... Do you ride down the thing? Or do you hit for four and then pick up Winter Flame? Uh, let's ride down. I don't think... That was really pretty inefficient now that I think about it. We did get the Karu Spell Snatcher. That I'm not sad about. That is an expensive morph cost. Wow. Sage Eye Haru. Four five. Let's go Warden. Pick up Ride Down. Play this as a morph. It's really only like end hostilities that gets us here. So like don't have that please. Real wind adept. Yeah, we got lethal. Alright, cool. No doubt, Seeker of the Way is a great two-drop, so the fact that we got to deal with it pretty efficiently is good. I don't... What is this? Did somebody want that? I guess somebody out there wanted that. That is a weird-looking card. Tormenting Voice tied to, like, a buyback artifact or enchantment. Somebody's out there loving it, and I love that. That's all I'm going to say. Not for me, but y'all do you. Sure. It's not great, but I mean, I'm not going to turn down all co all my colors plus a two drop. Do not have a play for next turn as of yet, though. That's on banner. Okay. We continue to have no plays. That's not terrible. My horde chief comes with a 1-1. One, one. Check out Banner. I think we just master the way on that thing. Beautiful. We got Aerostorm up for their next blocker, too. Hopefully, it gets them. Gets whatever said next blocker is. We can also buy back Master of the Way. On six mana. I'm going to that big creature. Alright. That's tough. Um... I 
I mean, like, we can attack and then arrow storm to finish the thing off, dealing five. I'm fine doing that. Alright, those last two lanes we got a sandbag to discard the tormenting voice. Oof. Uh, what can I do about that? It's a really large creature. Alright, uh, voice. River Island. Land. What do I buy back if I buy that back? Master of the Way, Aerostorm. Aerostorm could be good to the face. I think I'm just going to pass and play Take Up Arms on their end step. This this is something of a combo. It makes that this really goofy card look good. Didn't tap anything. Okay. Let me pick up Arrow Storm here. Feed the clan is an instant. They could go to 19 here. <laughs> okay. Didn't crack either banner or anything. I'll do it. We have eight. I think we want take up arms. Do we just die if it's awake in the bear? We don't.
five three. Okay. Yes, indeed. Um, this. That's pretty good. Got him. Owl Domo. Upstairs. If I if if I had done if that had been a paper match, I would have it would have been very, very warranted for my opponent to just deck me. Um I am a miserable little man child all right cool 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 we're two and all yeah let's do it i'm i'm becoming a believer with warden of the eye <laughs> The Deep Gods. Okay. I didn't realize it, like... I don't know. I, so I've been catching up on the Lost Cavern story. No, oh, you can't keep this. Um, much better. Uh, I don't remember... We're gonna pitch a land here. We're gonna pitch an island. They got the warden. Like, I'm fine just taking one from this thing. It, it doesn't really make sense to play. Does it make sense to play with one in Asburn? I mean, we're certainly not blocking this thing. I mean, she gets past this. <laughs> do we want a tormenting voice here? We do kind of need some action. I think they've just got regeneration up. Let's pitch take up arms since we can buy it back. Okay. Add a morph. We're hitting a lot of lands here. <laughs> I guess Warden's gonna buy back take up arms. Okay, so we're still only seeing two colors out of them. 
take three. Another morph. We have hit a critical mass of lands at this point. Alright, let me have this. So land number five represents that they could flip up a morph that could eat um, at least one named Aspirant. But we haven't seen land number five. It's another morph. We still got some ketchup to do. I mean, a good amount of ketchup to. Winter flame. That's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I think we're gonna wanna pass here. We have no way of really knowing which of those morphs is gonna be important. Um, sure. Just land number five, still two colors, though. All right, do you winter flame here or do you take up arms? Three mana, green, morphs to unmorph. I think it's just the regen shield, but I could be wrong. They could have, like, Awaken the Bear. One of those could, you know, morph up. Okay, so we have enough for both Ride Down and uh, Winter Flame if we need here. Ooh. Is that really what we want to do, though? Like, do we need to start attacking here? this to here. I don't know about that attack. Wasn't that great? There's that what, that island, that third color. It is possible that these are just more Kindry wardens. <laughs> One of them is at least. What did we get? We got Snowhorn Rider, that's good. Nice feather. Sure. Yep. 
Come on, money boys. Okay. Ready to trade off this morph with two one ones? Another ice feather robin. Yeah, we do have enough for both. Four damage to target creature. Jeez. Oh man, Sarkin. Please go after our life total. Please. There's no need to kill any of our stuff. There's really no need. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Why don't you just be quiet, man? Not great. To the heart. Die, Sarkin, die. Very difficult to deal with. Pass. Two, two, and one. I'll take three. An awful low on life. Another morph? Yeah. Not super useful there. Yeah, we are running out of options here. I mean, Aspirant threatens to trade with either, and then we can kill the Glacial Stalker. I'm just going to try it. This is our best way to deal the last points of damage. Okay. 
That'll do it. Oh, okay. I live at one. Okay. I guess. Oh, I live at three. Okay. I guess. Technically not dead. We did get a good chunk of our lands there in the top of the deck. Um, what do we end up with? Five. Eleven. Eh. Well, that's not really anything to complain about. Three, two that we cannot block. Okay. That's death. That is swift and sure death. All right. Well, um, I'm going to skip that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of the mulligan and, and hitting a few too many lands, I think. I don't think we misplayed, though. I did, it, like, we were just kind of in a no-win situation at the end there, uh, sitting on that arrow storm, just praying that we got some way to, like, I don't know, you know, get in, like, just that extra two points of damage. Drawing the second Warden of the Inner Eye would have been decent could have gotten like winter flame out of the graveyard yeah. what are you gonna do all right not great okay that gives us a turn three play i feel better about that More phenomenal. Attack with Bloodfire Expert here. No. Okay. Still on just green and white. None attacks. I think we can leverage the, uh, Weapon Master's ability pretty well here. Oh, I thought that- you thought I gave the thing first strike. Man, it's three points of damage we just missed out on. That was dumb. We're still in a pretty good spot, though. Uh, yeah, we just want to attack with both. Aspirin into Bonkin. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, they, they were clearly missing uh, black there. So. But we did it. We got to the end of that one. Isn't it? 
bad. Not bad. Just guy is the way. Good old standby. Love me an electrostatic infantry. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, if we don't have white on turn three, we just cast Tormenting Voice and discard, you know, Anoch Cracker or whatever. Honestly, turn two, probably. Yeah, yeah, let's just Tormenting Voice. Discard that. Okay, got white. Looking like Margu over there. I do not think that this card is very good. But, uh, you know, you're allowed to play whatever you like. Okay, yeah, so we want to play our land here. Do we want to attack into this thing? I don't want to attack into that thing. Mm, no, I'm just going to play this. No attacks. You got it, champ. Turn your raid on. Hard piercer, youch. Yeah. I, I do really want to play Marty Horde Chief this turn. Let's just play it. Attack him with the two, three. I'm gonna bite um, and say that they're just attacking for raid. Okay, barrage of boulders. Yeah, there's a saddle brute. Big fella. Big fella. Put that on top of their deck and attack. Hold up arc lightning. Oh, this is not an instant. <laughs> Just play the saddle brute again, right? Yeah, crap. Okay. We're on four.
this is five. Yeah. Still not in a great spot. Two cards. All right. Oh, we'll put both of those in the bin. Just do Jeskai Charm. Can't cast it. Great. Um, shoot. All right. Uh, no ticks. Going that low against the, going this low against a Mardu deck is like, it's not good for your health. All right, we got a bombkin. I'm just gonna do that and pass. Aerostorm, Prowler. You just gotta pray they don't have... more... or they, that they don't have... Uh, Aerostorm. I think we gotta kinda of play like they don't have Aerostorm. Alright, that's not bad. We got out of Aerostorm range. And I think we just pass and play take up arms next turn. Or at the end on their instep. Or yeah, if they're going to attack. Okay. I'll jump. Or shrieker. Three mana. Do nothing with it. Okay. Weaving. Doing very little for us. Both Wardens in the bin. Okay. 
or one warden in the bin, that there. Uh, let's go Aerostorm, huh? Aerostorm, Aerostorm. We will kill Summit Prowler first. There we go. Okay. Let's hit a spell sometime. Sometime. Blockers. I guess we can just sit here and wait until we draw Arrow Storm. Validash. That's not bad. That'll help us break this. We'll see if they can answer it. I don't think that. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering, like, should we just swing all? But yeah, it didn't really matter. I didn't have anything. Okay. Not bad. Warden of the inner eye. Freaking incredible card. Who knew? Many people. Many people knew, actually. Big robot. Robot. This is fine. We're missing blue, but that's okay. <laughs> Never have I ever not had it. Bonkin. Natural. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you just? Yeah, I think we just start lightning that right now. Now, no buying it back or any nonsense like that. It's not allowed. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Hmm. A little blue here, huh? Bellowing Saddle Brute. And Morph. Okay. I think we like dealing five here. Yep. Okay. 
Warden pick up Arc Lightning? Uh, just a free weapon master face down. Chug that choo choo. Go warden pick up arc lightning. If they don't outlast this, we can kill both of these next or uh, on our turn with Arc Lightning and play a two drop. So I assume they're going to want to try to protect this by outlasting. Yep. Let's go anywhere. One, two, three. Attacking them both. And ready to trade off Warden, I think. Okay, our specs lets him throw a card. Yep. We are doing a dangerous dance here, I'll tell you that much. Um, but Horde Chief and Death Aspirin's pretty good. And we are like just a point of damage away from Arrow Storming him to death. Okay, they can pick off my 1 1. They equip that. Oh, ooh, even worse. The two one. Air OD Wilds. Okay, six mana. Six, 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 six mana. Arc lightning for two there, one here. I mean, we have the arrow storm kill next turn. I don't think there's a reason to push it. Uh, now we don't have the arrow storm win. They get to pick off another thing.
What are the odds that they let anything through here? Yeah, I think actually this looks okay. Because, like, if we get one point of damage in, they're dead. Um, yeah, we just... Dos cartas. Aldom. Yeah, because, like, the... The first striker would have eaten one of their creatures if we had to flip it up, um, and we could punch damage. Um, we could have just won with the Afri Weapon Master, now that I think about it. If we just flip it, pump the 1-1, one, one, yeah, it's game two. So It's honestly the more efficient way to do it, because then you don't lose the Afri Weapon Master, but whatever. We got there. All right. Five wins. There's nothing we really want to raid with next turn, but, like, I don't really want to just sit here and do nothing. Okay, so we do get to, like, start attacking and stuff. Start attacking and stuff. Next turn we can Tormenting Voice, pitch, like, take up arms. Tuscar Captain. Gross. Okay, trade in there. No, tr no such. Okay, let's do this. Still hurting on blue. The Grizzly. Oof. Doesn't really help to play the War Shrieker, really. We just played it as a blocker. Yeah. We're not doing anything until we hit blue mana at this point. <laughs> they did miss a land drop of some note. Outlast. Play a morph. <laughs> we can't do anything. Oh, we got blue now. But Winter Flame only. We're just gonna hold Winter Flame. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I just took the one target off the board that I could kill with. God, jeez. Foolish. Sure. Great. G. 
Jeez Louise, John. Jeez Louise. I don't know about this. Oh, we can't even weave fate. Okay, now we're just going to die in the air. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be smart of me to, like, you know, read my cards and stuff? Wouldn't I be such a clever boy to do that? Don't kill shot the thing. For four mana we can do this. The thing's gonna die. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh, that, that put counters on it. Oh, man. Oh, no. This only will deal three. Dang it. Can I Warden and Winter Flame this turn? Yeah, technically. They got something up. We could also weave fate. I I I just think I I, I don't really have any confidence that we can do anything here against these flyers. Like, if this is Obzon Guide, we are so dead. Another morph. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's not Obzon Guide based on that. We gotta master the way here. We got feeder resistance. Yep. Resolves. It's nine. I can jump this in the air to win to live. No, no, they trample. They trample. <laughs> anything? 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 Bail me out. Nope. That was a very dumb attack into that Alpine Grizzly. What we meant to do was to kill it and uh, tap the Obs on Falconer. Dumb. All right, let's see if we get one more. If not, we still had a pretty good run, I would say. Free Weapon Master. Arrow Storm. Good cards. Great stuff. Born of the Eye. Love it. Just reading 
this flavor text about Watley. I like Watley a lot. It's pretty dope. Warrior poets are cool. We will be mulliganing this hand, I believe. Yeah. I don't like just sitting here waiting for Arc Lightning to come online. I'm starting to talk myself into keeping it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just please play a 1 1 for me to pick off. Like, alright, Warner Mass Burn's not the worst thing in the world to see. Okay. Play Aspirant. Let's wait to see if we can find a better target. Um, I don't think they block here. Okay, they did. They didn't. Okay. Raiders spoils. Is this Ruth? Root the ripple? Not root the ripple. White man, uh. So DC's pet. Got nothing. Has to be a warrior. Um, I think, are we just gonna arrow storm that thing? No, let's, uh, let's double bond, Ken. You got it. How much mana we got? Six, up to seven. Attack with both. Bring the horde. <laughs> Bitter rev. Just kick it off by arrow storming this, arc lightning this. Leave him with no board, take him to six. Okay, 
three black for a morph. For a dutiful return? Dead drop. Warrior? Warrior. Yes, indeed. That should do it. Okay, tap and deal two. Tap and deal two. What is that ability? What is that? You have you are horrifying me. Oh no. You've gained two. Take nine next turn. You have feet. I don't know if that's the right play. God, watch her the roost, you stupid, stupid card. Stupid, stupid card. That is too bad. But it happens. Still got that feeder resistance. Another Raider spoils. We'll happily let either one in. Okay. Take a bomb, it's not awful. The old bomb can. We got two Warden of the Eye in here that can win us the game. Right? Mm. There he is. Got a way to gain life. Cool. Thank you, Warden. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate it. Bill Stack of Gems. All right. 
It's either a seven ball or it's a six and two. I'm good with either. Played decently well. One pretty bad attack for sure. Um, I think we made the right cuts. In deck composition, I think by and large we made pretty good picks. I mean, we can cast a morph on turn three. I'm not going to pitch it. So no turn two plays, right? I didn't agree to this. Natural Marty, I didn't agree to this. Don't you martyr horde chief me? Don't you do that? They're gonna martyr horde chief me. You gonna chief me? Skull hunter. Okay, so like take up arms can go. Um, we'll get that back eventually. Some for a single white. What do you got? What do you got? They claim nothing. Single white, single white, single white. Erase? There's not an enchantment on the board, though? We're not going to do anything with War Shrieker. The, uh, excuse me, the mana from War Shrieker. Not trading here and then them just like playing a, their own War Shrieker into something else. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not flipping this up for forever. Hi, Spire Mantis. That's a very real card. Alright, I'm just going to play War Shrieker because it blocks this. All we can pick up is take up arms. This thing's just going to keep beating us down in the air. Crazy ass praying mantis on a snowy mountain. Who's ever heard of that? Never heard of that. What is this? Are you going to feed a resistance or something? Divine Shrek. I like no morph there, at least. I think I'm just going to go Jeskai Student into Anok Bondkin. We just don't have anything that great to get back with the Warden right now. Take up arms doesn't really do anything for us. May not hit land number five. Or this is just War Shrieker into something else. Yeah. So Arc Lightning does kill this thing. Um. I'm going to pray that we have time to do that. This block's here to here. We do go to seven, though. That is land number five. We'll be in Aerostorm range mighty soon. Just the Shrieker. Right. Let's 
student too. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and block. We need two spells to kill it. Mm, they could just trumpet blast too. It's about as bad as that could go. At least we do trade there, but... Ugh, man. A healthy 21. Yeah, we're blocking that. Just play something that Arc Lightning can kill, please. Or play nothing. Also an option. Krumar. How interested are we in take up arms? Not that interested. I think we just kill this thing now. It's a good sign. Arc lightning. Got a bring low or a burn away. They're both instants, right? None plays. Need to start holding lands in case we hit tormenting voice. Seeker. We still trade with either, but they do gain three. Um, I think that's okay. Jeez, I think that's okay. Let's do the full three here, I guess. Okay. It's a relief. We just got dodge arrow storm. No big deal, right? Oh, yeah. Feels good, man. Feels good. Got another seven bagger for cons. Someone told me that I would be able to do this, and I doubted it. But now I've done it twice. 
Perhaps I have learned how to play cons. This looks like a card that could be in cons, you know. Very cool card. Brothers War. I didn't get to play it as much as I'd like, but... Alright. Smooth 950. Goes down just fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm John with People's Republic MTG, the best playgroup in the Atlanta area. If you happen to be local, uh, please do find me on Twitter at McNerdy27. Uh, McNerdy27 is also the YouTube channel handle. That is where you're watching this. Uh, one last thing to remind you of is if you check out the links to... Uh, if you check out the YouTube video descriptions, you'll find links to charities and funds that support the Black Lives Matter movement. Please consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to my channel to one of those worthwhile causes. All right, I'll see you guys next time.